Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from a brewery I like particularly. Uh, it is called Nada Brewing Company, and they are located in the city of Nada. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about them. First of all, of course, the beer is this one. It's got an interesting name, Magical Banana. And as always, very, very interesting artwork uh, on the label too as well uh, some magic going on here apparently all right well not a brewing company was founded in 2017 and the head brewer is uh, namioka yasunori and he worked at kyoto brewing company for a while uh, i met him when he worked there uh, and then he went on to establish his own brewery in Nara. Nara is a city in the center of Japan, a uh, population of about 350,000. So it's a small city. Uh, it was actually the capital of Japan uh, for about 90 years or so, from uh, 17, uh, 710 to 794. Uh, so it has a lot of history, a lot of old temples and tombs. Uh, the oldest wooden building in the world and the largest wooden building in the world, as far as I know, two temples there. Uh, you can look it up and see. Um, so they have a tap room and they're open on Saturdays and Sundays and uh, uh, they uh, have made about, according to Untapped, uh, 78 different beers and the average for them is pretty high, 3.75. Um, and uh, I just love their you know, their label art. You can go online and check out, uh, and the names of their beers too, as well. Uh, and the names of this beer, and and we'll I'll do another one uh, in our next review. It's quite interesting stuff here. Uh, so not a lot of breweries in Nara. There is of course Nara Brewing, and uh, then uh, Nara Machia Craft Brewery, and uh, Sony Kogan, and a newer one called The Good Wolf. The Good Wolf Brewery, which is way out in the middle of nowhere in the mountains of Nara. And I uh, went out there and I reviewed uh, 10 of their beers. So you can check out The Good Wolf as well. They're quite good. Um, so let's give a look at the beer here now. It is, again, called Magical Banana. And you may wonder, why is it that? Well, it has banana in it. Um, this is uh, a Belgian brown ale. Uh, with banana, 5.5% and 10 international bittering units. Uh, it cost 680 yen where I bought it, and that would probably be somewhere around five, maybe 550 US, something like that. Well, only one rating on rate beer. It's uh, uh, rated at 3.6 out of five, and untapped there were 78 ratings when I checked, and the average a little bit higher, it's 3.72. Uh, the malt bill for this is Vienna malt, wheat malt, brown malt, and cara aroma. The hops, just one, Mercure, and then other ingredients include uh, banana and sugar. So uh, it should be interesting, a brown ale with banana in it. And let's give this one a go, shall we? It's a, a nitro, a nitro can, so the, uh, the instructions are on here. Of course, you uh, shake it a little bit, give it a hard direct pour, and then wait a minute. So let's see what happens with that. Okay. See the, you know, the characteristics of nitro pour. If you uh, get a Guinness a nitro in a bar, of course, it does this. The carbonation seems to go down, and as it uh, kind of fills, oh, little particles there, I see, <laughs> of banana. So it is a kind of very dark apple juice color uh, with a, a very creamy, very creamy, which again, nitro pour, very creamy kind of uh, uh, off white head. Looks like maybe a cafe au lait kind of head. And carbonation, of course, is still still rising up from there. Okay, so we wait a minute. Mm, banana, yes, absolutely. Um, banana, uh, banana notes, of course, are features of wheat beer uh, uh, in the aroma for sure, and and this has wheat in it. The main malt is Vienna malt, which, and it gives it this dark color along with the brown malt as well. Okay, I'm going to give it a go. Definitely banana is the main ingredient. Rather, it leads you to think it's going to be quite sweet. 
Nice creamy head. It looks like looks like a, you know cream on top of cafe au lait or something. This is wonderful. Yeah. So banana is the main flavor or aroma note. Not getting a lot else. Banana is the main flavor note as well. There is some, some malty sweetness behind it. Something cho lightly chocolatey. Kind of uh, fizzes up and you know, gives kind of a sort of zesty buzz in the nostrils. Uh, so chocolate. Something light like marshmallow, maybe. Light, light chocolate flavor as well. Hmm. Interesting, uh, kind of a novelty. Um, I don't get the Belgian aspect of it so much. Uh, they don't specify the yeast, but it, 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 they call it a Belgian brown ale. Um, but it's, things are mostly covered up by the banana and the sweetness. Hmm. That is about it. Well, interesting novelty beer. Uh, you may want to give it a go if you happen to see it. Um, I think it's the kind of thing you probably want to drink just one of, uh, or even less, I don't know. But uh, it may enchant you like this banana head does. All right, well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you are well, and uh, take care. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, tell me about Nada Brewing if you've had some of their beers. What do you think about them? All right. Okay. Bye-bye.